Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into a new hairstyle revealed to us by Jungkook in a new video. But the internet seems to be torn over this hairstyle. So I wanted to get into this and talk about it. I also want to get into a very possible now BTS and Blackpink collab and what is going on with them right now. I think this is very interesting and I have a lot of thoughts on this. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. So if you aren't aware, BTS dropped a new video recently that's gotten us all extremely shook like I'm shaking. Big Hit very randomly puts out behind the scenes footage you can buy. I think they've also put out old concert DVDs. I could be wrong about that. But let's just say Big Hit doesn't forget to feed us with BTS content. Now, judging by the teaser video that Big Hit had just put out, this could either be a behind the scenes thing, like the season's greetings BTS just put out, or it could be something else. I'm of course talking about none other than the 2021 BTS Winter Package. BTS released their preview video for it, and it's basically our boys having fun on the mountain, and snowy mountain, and you get to see what armies call their dual tea. Being able to see a super serious, but also have such cute and fluffy moments to where they're smiling and just being the cutest little bean ever. I love beans, especially if the beans are BTS. An interesting thing that we noticed right away is Jungkook's hair. I really like it. It's very long and elegante. You know how you imagine your Prince Charming with a white horse? That's the hair that the Prince Charming would have. And I think he pulls it off so well. I am also assuming or hoping this was before he bleached his hair blonde. I would hope so, honestly. Like I hope he isn't already just done with the blonde hair because he can add color to it and have a few different colors, which aren't too bad for the hair. He could do this before his roots grow out too much where he'd have to go black again. He did, however, show his bluish hair tips. So this must have been the time when Jungkook decided to bleach his ends and we died. Flash forward to the blonde and we died a second time. But I was excited to see what armies thought of this. Almost immediately, this was the conversation on the tweetster where a lot of armies were making fun of Jungkook's hair. Now I am no way the gatekeeper to Jungkook or any of the BTS members or their hair. You are allowed to be like, that's not my thing. I don't like it. That's fine. It's your opinion. But it's when their opinion is unsolicited and no one asked and they're being hurtful. This is what makes it not okay. If I ask you if you like this shirt and you say no, that's different from someone just walking up to you and being like, ew, that shirt's hideous. You see the difference? So if you don't like it, just keep it to yourself or do what I do here, which is sometimes I'll say, you know, that wasn't my favorite. I prefer this look and move on. It just feels unkind, especially if they're claiming to be a fan, but then say those things. One person on the tweetster responded to a TikTok that was apparently criticizing Jungkook's hair, saying this. Not this so-called fake army saying Jungkook's hair looks bad in the new winter package pics. I hate these fake so-called fans. Don't be shy, leave the fan up. The comments are full of these so-called armies saying it looks bad, which I could slap up. As artists, I think they're allowed to experiment. Also, I don't see the problem. It's just long hair. If he decides it looks bad, he can just cut it. I just have to try all the hairstyles out there because they don't want people to get bored. Sometimes it'll be a miss for you because it's not your taste, but there's gonna be a lot of people that really love it and when it's gone are going to wish for that style to come back. A literal hairstylist will not have you walk out the door with a style that was just ugly. They have to think it looks good, meaning they're people who thinks it looks good. If I see one more person making fun of Jungkook's hair from the new winter package, I will hit him. I am a pacifist. I have found, you know, the Lord and stuff. Jesus is daddy. But I will slap people being rude. Daddy Jesus approves of me slapping. Let's not be rude. Let's be kind to everyone. And if you don't like it, you can simply say it nicely. There is no reason to be like, his hair is just like, I, it's like, it's not that serious. There is no reason to be so upset over hair. This isn't referring to one specific criticism, but in general, from what I've seen, a lot of people are very mad for no reason. I'm excited to check out the winter package. BTS always puts out great stuff that we can always use to learn more about the boys. If you ever wonder how a lot of armies know very personal things about BTS, it's usually during their V live streams and they'll share some details about their lives and others in their winter package and stuff. You can also tell a lot about the type of people they are with their interactions towards paparazzi and armies at fan meets. Very weird to wake up to this, but recently it seems like I've been waking up to a lot of crazy. Apparently there's a bigger possibility now of a BTS and Blackpink collab. A collab in general is likely, I think, like they will be a part of something together. But as for a music collab, we don't know. 
Let me explain what happened if you don't know. So YG, which is Blackpink's label, and Big Hit just made a deal. And now YG artists will be on Weverse, which is initially just a Big Hit artist site. So before, you can only go on Weverse to interact with Big Hit artists. I was thinking before if they would ever expand to outside their artists, it would be a smart move, as the website would then become the next VLive or whatever, the new K-pop social media site. And I think this is big for Big Hit too. Like I am so excited, because obviously YG has some of the best connections in the industry. As you can probably imagine, they've been doing Doing this for some time now. So Big Hit was definitely excited to be working now directly with YG to secure the bag and of course some of those connections. They include distribution in their deal and then wanting to expand Weverse to a much bigger audience. Because I think once you get Blinks and To Anyone fans on Weverse, it's going to absolutely be the biggest social site in Korea. Like no one's going to be able to compare. Obviously this could mean a future collab with these artists. I think once the fandom sees the support of the other artists' fandom, they'll start to stand that group too and help out. Especially if they're seeing that their favorite company's success also relies on this other company's success. So for example, I think armies will start helping out Blinks and vice versa. This could be the start of a really awesome thing where fans are not going to be tearing down other artists. I mean, we see how armies treat TXT and Enhypen, and we're so protective of them because they're in Big Hit and we want them to succeed. Smart move on Big Hit's half. And we also know that BTS is a big owner of Big Hit. So this was likely part of their decision too, which immediately squashes the rumor and theory that BTS and Blackpink are rivals or are competing. There's literally none of that. They are now literally going to be working together on the same platform. I definitely wanted to see what people were saying about this. Over on L Tweetster, one person wrote, I don't care about YG and Big Hit joining hands. I'm worried about Blackpink being bombarded by armies with hate tweets every single day. I'm not gonna lie, I think there's a lot of immature people out there. It happens right now even on the Tweetster, where there is no overlap in the groups. But when Weverse happens, I think in the beginning it'll be hard, but once the fandoms start coming in and everything starts to settle down, I think peace will happen. Please, if you're an ARMY or BLINK, do not start attacking each other. That's what armchairs and blancs do. Let's make a nice peaceful platform. Right now it's definitely a fun place for armies because it's a very unique platform where you can keep up with your artists, I think Blinks will love it. You get notified the moment an artist does anything. I'm worried that Blackpink will get hate at the start, and because of that, just never upload or interact on the platform. Not gonna lie, it's a concern. I think it's one that may have been overlooked, or perhaps maybe they don't think it will be a big deal, but we shall see what happens. I 100% have a lot of faith, that it's going to be fine. And we need to shut those haters down. So if you see any negative comments on there, just shut them down. I don't want our girls to feel bullied. And of course, if toxic blancs come online and start attacking, you need to shut that down as well. So definitely a good opportunity right now to jump on Weverse, as I think in 2021, it might literally blow up and be one of the biggest new platforms. Because I think if all these artists are on there and it can live stream, oof, it's over for everyone. It's very smart for Big Hit to expand El Weverse. I definitely look up to Big Hit and how they run their company. I think they are very bright and will lead the way to more K-pop innovations in the future. I expect great things, of course. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright it getting taken down, so I do keep it over there. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Link is in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel. I have a video over there explaining that, which is free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of the video, so click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.